Yeah, I know. It's just been a few minutes, but I got something more important. Then the last thing about Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., um, this has to do with that new Supergirl thing coming up. Um, new Supergirl. Supergirl girl just cast this Nashville star. Okay. Like her famous cousin, Supergirl originally came from the planet Krypton, but was transported to Earth and be became an alien. Everybody knows this story. Okay. Recently, news about the Earth-based character in the super upcoming Supergirl TV series. We've barely heard anything about Karzoel's Krypton heritage. Will play a role in this series. Until now, it was announced today that Nashville actress Lauren B E N A T N B E N A N T I has been cast a, in a key recurring role as Kara's birth mother. I don't know these names. If you know these comic books, you know it. Deadline describes Aura, Allura as a strong, noble woman who sends her daughter to Earth when Krypton is destroyed. During Kara's journey to Supergirl, Allura's wisdom and guidance echoes across space and time. And they'll be an enormous help to the superhero Bennett is the third actor to join Supergirl, joining Melissa Benotis being cast as a tu tutorial pro protagonist, and Michael Mihicad Brooks joining the show as Jimmy Olsen. Okay, so yeah, he's Jimmy Olsen now. I'm not even going to say how wrong that is, but. You guys know my feelings on that subject. However, unlikely Superman's parents and the majority of Kryptonians in the comics, Lori, her husband, and the other soldiers at Argo City were shrunk by Brainiac and added to his collection of civil civilizations before the planet's destruction. The art article's wording suggests that the TV Laura will be among Kryptonian's descendant deceased, filming a similar role to Superman's birth father Jor El. Going to Echoes Across Space and Time part of the description, I'm wondering if Supergirl's series really um to me um the Supergirl cartoon TV show, in my opinion, is going to be redundant, just like every other superhero show. But it's going to get even more stupider when she joins Arrow and the Flash. Because if y'all remember, it was specifically made for a tie-in. So... Yeah, hopefully they kill off Jimmy Olsen or kill off somebody to make the thing more exciting than this. Or even kill off the chief of the Daily Play. Since when did she go to freaking... Kali? Since when did she go to where Superman's at? Where the Daily Planet at? When did she stay there? I mean, why ain't Superman in it? Tell me that. If she's in the same Superman, TV, the same city Superman's in, why he ain't making an appearance? DC, get your crap together. Tell us. Tell us why Superman ain't making an appearance. Don't make up excuses. Tell us. And tell us why you made so many bad decisions in the past. And you think changing a character's color is going to make anything more exciting. It's not. It's going to make people think, okay, so Jimmy Olsen's a black guy. Okay, big deal. But it, don't, it ain't going to make, it's, it's just logically it makes no sense when historically the characters are different. 
and like I said, you're 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 hiring these people. Now you got some money from National Star, so you got what a singer. That's a drama. To be honest, and she ain't really a good enough actress. And then you put more sci-fi bullsh in it. Yeah. Oh, she's gonna hear her mom across time and space. Is Brainiac gonna make an appearance now? He did in Smallville. <laughs> Why not screw this one up too? But, um, yeah, I mean, to be honest, you guys are already screwed up on two levels. You made The Flash. That's a big screw up. Um, you make a Supergirl. It's another big screw up, DC. Don't put anybody with superpowers on TV. Fox is trying it with the X-Men. That's not going to work. Because, yeah, it's going to get watched, but the budget's going to go skyrocket through the roof. Especially with her super strength. I mean, that's going to require a lot of pulleys, a lot of lifting, and a lot of, uh... I'm just saying, don't focus on all your super... I mean, Arrow's doing just fine, because he's a non-powered superhero. And then there's got the... I'm hoping that they get with the Titans, and that becomes a tie-in with Arrow. That'd be a nice tie-in. Well, of course, you know, you're going to have the Red Oats arrow, so yeah, it might, well, Arsenal, whatever he's calling himself now. That might be a good idea. But, if you think about it, they're screwing up with the ages. And they're screwing up with a bunch of other stuff, because Oliver's a blonde, and this one he's a dirty blonde, more of a brunette. So... Oh, yeah, you can screw up hair color all you want. She would know if you look at comic books. He has blonde hair, and the Black Canary's actually got a supersonic voice. She just don't kick butt with her feet. She's got a supersonic voice. Um, Yeah, the only character you got right... No, 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 you didn't. Because even the Flash is not a redhead, so yeah, I'm going to nitpick at this bullcrap, DC, so keep it coming. It's going to be funny. We got a, we got a brown-headed uh, Flash junior, Flash boy. Um, we got Oliver Queen, who's a brunette. Two brunettes. Um, we got the Canary without the supersonic voice, which is now her sister, which she never had a sister to begin with. Um, now we got, and we got a black Jimmy Olsen. So, yeah, DC, keep, keep, keep screwing up, yeah. Arrow's good, by the way, but I don't like the Flash. It's just another redundant, super-powered superhero who nobody cares about. I'm a big fan of the Black Canary, you dumb twits. DC, she they call she calls herself the canary because of her dang gum voice, you idiots. But I digress. If you can make the Flash run as fast as light, why can't you give a woman a supersonic voice? Don't give me that. Oh, she had it in the Smallville. Smallville, she was a short-headed, looked like she was a gay, looked like a damn lesbian. And leather. So don't get me started on that. But like I said, you got another star lineup for uh yeah this this coming show. So have fun with that. I won't be watching it because there's two things wrong with that. But you already know what I like and what I don't like about that. So again, I give you good luck. Good night. Peaceful night. Have a peaceful night.